welcome back to uh, Brocast Performance, the uh, Brocast Car Show. Uh, we're going to be working on the one-ton dually again today. Uh, first things first is we're going to take the bed off. So that is just taking off. Well, I'll show you a little bit better. So to remove the bed, we have the gas cap here, and uh, I want to lower it six inches. So as you can see, I'm going to have to come up with something uh, for this so we kind of keep a uphill flow here a little bit downhill flow but to get the bed off it's just these six bolts on each one of these uprights so I will be doing that and I'll put the forks underneath and lift the bed off okay guys I got the forklift under it here a block there to hold it up and then it's sitting on the forks right there I'll pop these two nuts out uh, I'm shooting this all on my phone and I don't have a lot of time, so sorry that it's not more in depth. All right, let's lift it off and see if it doesn't tip out. All right, we're clear. <clears throat> All right, we're in the uh, shop now. I'm um, gonna lower it later. First thing I wanna do is reprime and paint this uh, so I can leave it outside without any of the body work getting any worse. So I'm gonna start by sanding this stripe off. Then I'm gonna sand down uh, the rest of the truck lightly. Um, then take some parts off and paint it. All right, I got uh, most of the heavy sanding done. I still gotta go over all the parts that were good and rough them up so the paint sticks. Um, I pulled the grill off. Kinda tricky, but not impossible. And one of the headlights out. And look what is in there, a bolt. This is a long bolt. And a bunch of black walnuts. So, isn't that nice? Okay, yeah, so I'm going to probably look behind that light and keep going here, keep cleaning. Okay, the uh, truck is fully sanded. Um, I use this random orbital sander, 40 grit for the heavy stuff, and then 120 over the rest of it. And then I'm going to use this scotch right pad to get where it couldn't fit, like under the doors here, uh, around the doors, trim a little bit, um, like around here and stuff. So yeah, I'm going to buff it up with that quick, and I'll let you see what's next. Okay, uh, I taped all the windows and doors. Might have to really do a spot or two. Yeah, so all the windows and doors are taped. I'm going to wipe the car down with some uh, thinner and this t-shirt, and then we're going to lay a coat of primer on it. Okay, this is going to be the primer I'm going to shoot on it. Just mixing it in with some uh, reducer right now. It's red oxide primer, not the most ideal primer, but it's the primer I got, so it's the primer I'm going to use. Okay, I'm going to start on the back just so I can get a good feel for it. Try not to get too many runs. Okay, it's got a very light coat of primer on it, a little heavier where there was actually rust. And uh, let that dry for like 30 minutes, then I'll mix up the, uh, I'm doing a single stage color. So yeah, I'll mix that up and spray it and it'll be pretty much be done. 
Okay, now I'm mixing up the single stage. Um, it's a cream color, looks pretty white here. But I got the right reducer and the correct hardener for this. So uh, yeah, mixing it up and then I'll start spraying. Okay guys, this is uh, one coat of the cream. Looks like white in here, looks like maybe cream under that light. Uh, yeah, we're gonna mix up uh, another batch and put the second coat on. Yeah, we're up to six coats now. Looks pretty good in my opinion. Nothing perfect, there's a few kind of dust and stuff in it. That's all right for a work truck. Now let's do the fun part and start peeling the tape off. And here it is with all of the uh, wrapper off and the grill put back on right now looking pretty good uh, there's a white truck so you can kind of compare the colors and see that that is quite a bit more creamy I like it I think it looks nice uh, it's only been outside for one day sorry a bird shit on it on my fresh new paint job yeah so uh, next I'm gonna work on this um, be drilling these holes lower. I decided I'm going to go five inches and then cutting that off and doing something with this. All right, I marked it on that side and put a little pilot hole in it. Uh, next, what I'm going to do is use this step bit and go to that blue line there, which is nine sixteenths, but I'm going to go from the easy side this time. So I'll be uh, cut, drilling them out. All right, the holes are drilled and now I have a line marked where I want to cut it. I'm going to be using this nice uh, Milwaukee portable bandsaw to cut it. All right, all of the uh, bed holders are trimmed off now. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is use the spicy hammer to remove the headache rack. All right, let's see, I torch it there some. Should just pretty much fall right off. Okay, here's the rack now. Um, I do have bolts in it, but I got the forklift on it just because I'm going to take it back off again. All I'm going to do is figure out dimensions for my uh, wheel wells. Uh, I'm going to put some stake pockets on the side, and I'm going to figure out dimensions for a rack on here. I don't know if I'm gonna go like that or all the way to the top. Haven't decided yet. Here's what I've got of the rack so far. So that piece, that piece, and that piece, three pieces. Um, and those were all original pieces off of the rack that I cut and used. And then this is gonna be the first piece um, of iron that I paid for. So what I'm gonna do is kinda, this was already cut. To figure out my angles, I'm going to take the straight edge and follow it up and mark it there. That's going to give me my angle. And then I will measure across, cut it. And I've got a little bit of movement here. So if it's not perfect, I should be able to pull it apart or push it in to make that fit. Okay, there is the angle. Time to cut it. All right, there we are. The Headache rack is done. It's not perfect, but so next thing we're going to do is 
take the bed back off, weld that up solid, uh, put fenders on, uh, clean it up and paint it. Okay, the rack is welded on. Uh, the stake pockets are welded on. Next I'm going to flip it over and I think I'm going to bolt the fenders on and then clean the bottom and paint it. Okay, the uh, fenders are done. Um, I made them bolt on just for ease and uh, in case I uh, don't like them, I can just take them off. So just zip, zip, and that's done. All right, it's flipped over, uh, primed, painted. Uh, there are the fenders there. They need paint yet, I ran out. The frame of the truck I cleaned and painted that painted flipped primed waiting for its next coat of paint okay the bed is painted uh this is my last day with being able to use this shop space so i'm it's still wet but i'm gonna go ahead and try and mount it back on the truck and then we'll put the fenders on and uh see what it looks like there um i've had deja vu twice while working on this already so i don't know if i do this kind of work too often or if i've been <laughs> dreaming about a truck like this for too long so uh, yeah, let's keep going. Uh, All right, the bed is on, the fender's on. Uh, I didn't make a solution for the gas filler neck yet, but I put some gas in it, and uh, here's what I did. I took this long funnel, so I got it zip tied up under there, and then I just put the funnel in there and filled it up like that for now. Um, I'll be coming up with a solution for that. All right, here it is. Looking pretty good for uh, owning it less than a week. Uh, let's get around and I'll show you all the things I didn't do perfectly. <laughs> Needs a little bit of paint there. The fenders are all right. Thanks for watching this episode guys in the next episode i'm going to put a back plate on the rack there so nothing can get through the cab uh, we're going to put mirrors on it um, some mirrors i had from a project i was going to do so uh i'm just going to use those this is what i got and uh, we're also going to look under the hood we're going to check the oil check the coolant check the power steering make sure the alternator works uh, maybe check the brakes uh, the valve cover and check a bunch of stuff 
So uh, tune in next week for all of that. If you guys want to support the channel, all you got to do is like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, share this with your friends. Peace out.